The Spark that ChatGPT has generated last year is still going very hard. Every tech giant wants a piece of it. Companies like Apple, Meta, OpenAI, Microsoft are pouring billions of dollars in developing AI tools. These all are good and very well helping humankind to reach new heights in terms of development. But there is a fact that is kept secret to all of us. This AI technology is coming at a high cost that we cannot even afford. Development of AI tools uses a lot of natural resources. Researchers at Masochist and Amherst found that training a single language model can emit more than 626,000 pounds of carbon dioxide, which is equivalent around 300 flights between New York and San Francisco. In other words, this is the same amount of greenhouse gas emission as 62.6 gasoline powered passenger vehicles driven for a year. See the graph of damage AI is doing? It has already ranked number one in producing carbon footprint and it is by a significant margin compared to cars and other industries. This data is not even from present, it is from 2019 which means the current status of damage might be worse. Last year on November 30, OpenAI introduced the ChatGPT, a tool which can answer to your queries. Its release caught the world attention and it became the fastest growing platform ever created. Currently, ChatGPT have 100 million plus monthly active users on their platform. Maintaining this amount of traffic on their site needs a lot of power and resources such as electricity, computer, water and hardware. These all resources come from a long process that also uses resources. Take hardware for example. From extracting the raw material to making a hardware uses resources such as water and fuels. Taking all that into consideration, the actual number of damage becomes huge. OpenAI trained a language model called GPT-3, a part of ChatGPT and a language model that is trained using data to identify your query and then respond accordingly to it. Researchers have estimated that this single GPT-3 has consumed 700,000 liters of fresh water during its training. Those water were evaporated, meaning it cannot be reused. Resources are available in limited quantity. We know it. And if we keep going like this, we might be digging our own grave. Most of the concerns that I addressed are just surface level. The actual data is different and we don't really know much about it. Because the AI companies are not willing to answer the question that involves the environmental concerns. AI also concerned government. They organized it and have discussed its future impact on election, medical facilities and environment. The United Nations Environment Program has also concluded it as a technology that could improve our understanding of environmental impacts and the effect of climate change. I hope they are not wrong and whatever practices they use it to come to this conclusion are genuine. That's it to this video. I hope you find this insightful and you learned something unique today. Give a thumbs up and please subscribe. Be kind.